Good morning, Hoosiers, and welcome to Paper News 24-7, brought to you today by Fourth Hawk Consulting, business efficiency specialists. Your local news in an efficient three minutes or less starts right after this word from our sponsor. When you're thinking about your future, there are some facts you can't ignore. Today, the average college loan debt is nearly $30,000, and many grads can't find good-paying jobs. There's a better option, one that's affordable and aligned with today's employer needs, Ivy Tech Community College. Ivy Tech two-year programs lead to careers in high-demand fields. Our tuition is less than $4,000 per year for a full-time student, and Ivy Tech grads earn a higher starting salary than their four-year peers. Ready to get started? Visit ivytech.edu slash apply now. Welcome back. I'm Stu Clampett with Montgomery County's Top Headlines. At Thursday night's Hoosier State Press Association Foundation Advertising Contest Awards Dinner, the paper's own Adrian Clouser and Kim Van Matry won first place in three categories. Clouser and Brandy Simmons also won first place in a fourth category. Congratulations, ladies. And Crawfordsville Electric Light and Power's new solar field is only the beginning of a new generation of renewable energy for Crawfordsville and the Indiana Municipal Power Agency. CELNP plant manager Phil Good said that solar will help the environment while keeping prices stable. The utility will also be celebrating Public Power Week and 125 years of service with an open house on October 9th. Also in today's paper, like fine wine, the Stellar Community Program seems to improve with age. Wabash, Indiana, not to be confused with our local college, was the most recent stellar designee next to Crawfordsville. Wabash Mayor Robert Van Landingham said that just one year into the program, he feels like things are dragging along. You can read Wabash's experience with Stellar in today's paper. That's your local news for today. We'll be back with a look at your forecast right after this. It's the Ford Summer Sales Event. 2015 Fusion, $750 rebate plus 0% for 72 months or lease for $269. 2015 F-150, $9,000 discount or lease just $435 a month. 2015 Escape, $750 rebate and 0% for 72 months or lease just $298. Head to Mike Racer Ford, Sagamore Parkway, Lafayette. You, you got, got a test drive. Check out the inventory at racerford.com. The forecast for today calls for a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. It will be partly sunny today with a high near 83. Tonight brings a 50-50 chance of showers and thunderstorms. It will be mostly cloudy with a low dropping down to 67. On Saturday, we see a chance of showers and thunderstorms once again. That's mostly before 2 p.m. Then a slight chance of showers, mostly cloudy skies, and a high near 74. Saturday night looks partly cloudy, dropping all the way down to 49 degrees. Sunday should be mostly sunny with a high near only 70 and an overnight low all the way down to 46. That's your local news and weather. Sports is up next. There's not a minute he wouldn't drop everything to shoot around. I mean, he's a kid. He loves it, and I love to do that with him. That's why it was so tough to tell him I couldn't. My knee just wasn't there yet. It wasn't only that I didn't want to let him down. I didn't want to miss this time with him while I had it. But the day I was ready, I knew it. And he did too. Hello, sports fans. Here's everything you need to know today in Montgomery County sports. In volleyball action, Crawfordsville and North Montgomery went head-to-head -head and toe-to-toe, -to -toe, just like two great heavyweights. In the end, the Athenians were able to deliver the knockout blow in a five-set thriller. The Athenians will look to claim the county championship as they battle the Mounties on Tuesday. Also, cross-country turned into cross-county as Crawfordsville, North Montgomery, and Southmont faced off in Southmont's course on Thursday night. On the boys' side, it was a close race from beginning to end. All three schools were represented in the top three for most of the race. South's Brooke Long, Crawfordsville's Davis Thompson, and North's Mitchell Monroe battled it out, and you can read all the details on pages A5 and A6 today. That's your local sports for Friday. For more information on these and other stories, click on our e-edition or pick up a print copy of the paper of Montgomery County. For Paper News 24-7, I'm Stu Clampett.